Okay, today I'm going to address a question that I had about if you have a large site, how to create a spry navigation in a library so that you don't have to update each individual page. And I'm going to go through this rather quickly. So I've done a couple things to start with. I created a blank page, library page called YouTube spry.lbi. Use the extension .lbi so that it's a library. Save it in your library folder. That way it'll show up in the assets panel, uh, assets on your files panel. Okay, we have that created. It's blank. You see in code there's nothing there, and on the page there's nothing there. I originally um, pre-created this file, just spry.html, added a horizontal spry menu bar, and all I'm going to do from this page, this is not connected to the library at all at this point, what I'm going to do is select everything in the body tag. I'm not going to select the body tag, but everything in, the, in between the um, opening and closing body tags, I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste it. Okay, we're going to see this spry menu bar show up here, but you're going to notice that it's not formatted. Um, the reason for that is that we need to actually attach, and I hope I can see it here, we actually need to attach the style sheet. So, under Windows here, Okay, I'm going to find my CSS style. Sorry, I had a little issue with the computer wanting to lock up on me here. Okay. All right. Okay, this is not going to work. There we go. Wow, that was trying, wasn't it? I'm using a such a low resolution that it kind of messes me up sometimes. Okay, sorry, we're going to attach the style sheet. You need to make sure that you find the one in the Spry Assets folder called Spry Menu Horizontal. And choose that, click OK. All right, so now you'll see we're formatted OK. I'm going to save that library. I'm going to create a new page, just an HTML page. Okay. I'm going to save it as just YouTube sample.html. Okay. And I'm going to move my CSS out of the way here. Flip over to Assets. You'll see your library that we just created listed. Drag that onto your page. You'll see the same thing happen. No style is defined. So we just need to go do the same thing. You'll have to do this on every page. You'll have to make sure that this horizontal style sheet is attached on your page. It's formatted. One more thing we're missing, and that's the little script that tells it to pop up those drop downs when you hover over it. So we're going to go back to that spry.html that I originally had created and placed the spry menu bar in. It created all this code. So I'm just going to copy this that's right under the title. I'm going to go onto my YouTube sample page, the HTML page. I'm going to put it in the same place here. Okay? So now, everything is done. Um, you don't have to have that script in your library page, but you do have to make sure that's on all your HTML pages. So the key is attaching that style sheet and attaching that script to all your pages. So now when you make any changes here, change item 1 to home. Okay, I'm going to do a save all. Should bring me up. Yep, it's going to update my YouTube sample. Yes, I want to update that. Give it a second. Okay, it's updated. I do another save all because then your HTML page needs save. And you'll see here, now it says home. So now all you have to do to update all of your pages all the navigation on all your pages is updated just this one library page. It's a pretty cool option. One thing I do want to say about using this type of navigation, if you're concerned at all about your optimization for the search engines, you might want to research it before you choose to use a spry menu bar or flash or anything else like that because the search engines cannot read the text within these. So just might not want to be some research you do, but other than that, I hope that this answers the question that was out there. Thank you very much.